Hello my friends, John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're finally going to take a look at the Kickstarter version of Stroganoff. Man, this one has been a long time in coming. Let's see what is inside this guy. Alright folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can build up my fan base. So, first things first, I did get this in the mail a long time ago when I kicked in an extra couple of bucks to help with the shipping because they were struggling and I decided to give them a break. So anyway, there's that card, although I have no idea really what it does because um, I haven't really refreshed myself on the rules in a very long time. Okay, so this is the deluxe edition here that we're taking a look at. The other one has been in stores for a while, which has its own frustrations in my mind, but it is what it is. So, opening this up now, nothing in the box from a standpoint of artwork. We have some information on the deluxe edition. So, we have metal coins, we have wooden horse meeples, we have an acrylic season marker. Looks like we have screen printed components there, a customized uh, printed drawstring bag, and then the insert and how this all goes together. So, great. Here is our manual here in the English. And just taking a quick look at it is uh, pretty colorful. Lots going on. Lots to read. I see some examples. As long as the examples are good, I see a couple more, so it should probably be all right. Okay, asymmetric player boards, game end. It's not a ton of rules there. And then here comes the solo mode. All right, so two pages of the solo mode and then some appendix info and some icons. All right. Now, I see at the beginning here, we've got this guy who maybe is, I don't know, maybe it's an asymmetric player board, I'm not sure. Um, these are going to be probably the inserts, which I will have to build. And I'm sure this is all part of the deluxe side of things. Okay. All right, so we'll take a little bit of time to put that together. Then we have another, looks like player board and some tiles there. So I don't know if these are different on the back or if they're just male and female version of the same. This is a, goes to eight. It looks like it's different though, because, oh, maybe not. Maybe not, anyway. So we've got more components here. I guess it's just the gender. All right. So nice artwork. They dressed it up a little bit with some different uh, doilies and such on the outside of things. This looks very nice. I like the um, illustrations there. We're, we've got medium thin, I'd say, on the uh, actual cardboard, but I do like, it just looks cool how they have the kind of all that other textured artwork in there. So these are a little bit on the thin side, cardboard wise. As long as they don't bend, they'll be all right. Okay, so plenty of stuff in this box today all right now we are at the point of the player board which i'm going to yeah i'll show it right here i'll just set these aside briefly okay a little fold there which isn't cool but it'll be all right as long as it'll tear it so the back of the board has this nice artwork to it which is nice very cool. Um, 
I don't really care much one way or the other about artwork on the back of the board because I never ever see it. I much more care about the artwork on the front of the board, which looks pleasant. I like the way it looks. I like the colors. It has a vibrant look to it. Definitely has the feel of an open space. Um, some nice weather. So that's cool. I like what I'm seeing there. Looks good. All right. Now, in our box, got a couple things to keep it from falling down, which I appreciate. Here are the metal coins. Here is the Stroganoff custom bag, which is cool. Here's the free floating, should have been in its own little bag, but thank goodness it didn't get lost. Acrylic round marker, which is okay. I could really care less about that one. And then here is the wooden components. These are wooden, well, they look like plus signs or crosses, one way or the other. And then you've got your screen printed wooden bits here for the deluxe. These folks, a bunch of horses, all in wood, more horses, and then the rest of the insert, which is well preserved, which is good because hopefully everything works out and it all fits and it's all nice. Finally, and it, man, I mean by preserved, it didn't get destroyed in shipping. Finally, we've got the deck of cards here, a little sleeve. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got here. All right, from a texture standpoint, there is no texture on these cards. However, they are um, a decent thickness. They're fairly rigid, so for those who don't want to sleeve, you'll probably be okay. I, of course, am a sleever, so I will be sleeving them. They do feel a little bit um, ruddy, so to speak. It's like almost like they're not air cushioned, which isn't going to be the end of the world, but it's going to kind of cause them to stick together a bit like they are right there. The artwork is good, though. And then we have a whole bunch of these, looks like letters here with different icons on them and other things. See, I can't even really easily pull them apart. It's not like they're sticky. They've just got a, like a little bit of a grit. But they all look good. The artwork looks good. So overall, I'm very happy with the way everything looks. Hopefully things play well. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing of the deluxe version. And I really appreciate your time you spent with me. Thank you very much. Whatever you play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.